Hi there. This video is in response to a viewer question I had. Uh, Robert asked me why there seemed to be a disproportionate amount of Canadians on YouTube posting videos about living in their RVs, so on and so forth. And you know what? I, I, I agree. There is quite a, quite a number of us doing it. And yes, there is a, there's a couple good reasons that kind of tie together to why this is happening. First one is Canadian content. It's really hard to find really good Canadian specific content in any kind of media, be it news, whatever. It, you know, you look at my videos for firearms and stuff. I attribute some of the popularity uh, due to the fact that other Canadians are watching this because they really have nowhere else to go. A lot of a lot of the firearm stuff is U.S. based, be it YouTube or whatever. It's a, you know what? It's just a di it, it, the, the United States is way way bigger than Canada. Canada's landmass is a big country, but population is quite small. So we just don't have these things. It's not it's not productive for a production company to do stuff on this. So. There's nobody else to do it but us YouTubers. Is there a market for us to do it? Well, yeah, sure. You can't actually make money on YouTube, but if you enjoy doing it and it's something kind of a hobby, then hey, great. And there, there's people to watch it. I do, I do most of my entertainment watching off YouTube myself. So I'm kind of trying to contribute back into something I use and abuse quite a bit. Anybody who thinks you can earn a living off YouTube is pretty much crazy as far as I'm concerned. You know, I, I, I'm I a subscriber to a few channels that are well over 500,000 subscribers on those channels, and they all have day jobs. That pretty much says volumes. And you look at my number of subscribers, it's, it, it, does YouTube even pay for my daily coffee? Nope. <laughs> so there you go. So, you know, I do monetize my videos more out, of, more out of entertainment value than anything. Uh, hopefully the, the ads aren't annoying or whatever. I, I can pretty much ignore them on other people's channels, so hopefully it's the same for me. But anyway, that, that's why a lot of Canadians are driven that way to the content. Why are there people living in RVs doing YouTube videos that are Canadian? Well, here on the West Coast, there is a, a disproportionate number of us living in RVs on boats, just looking for alternative ways to live. Why? Because the climate is suitable here in this, this little section of Canada. Most of Canada, I could not do this. Uh, one of the past places I lived, Grand Prairie, uh, if you're not sure where that is, it's about an hour away from Dawson Creek. <laughs> do you know where Dawson Creek is? Maybe not, probably not. Uh, it's kind of mid-northern Alberta kind of deal. Uh, it gets very cold there. Would I want to do this there? No way. Any place that hits minus 40 for any kind of extended period of time, I would not want to do this in. It would, it would be, it would be, it, this thing just is not insulated. It would be impossible to keep your water from freezing. Just everything would just go wrong. It just, it just no, <laughs> I wouldn't do it. This is one of the few areas in Canada where I'm willing to do this. And there's a lot of other others of us that I see around that aren't on YouTube that do the same thing as I do cost of living here is pretty outrageous and particularly over on the mainland in Vancouver uh, housing costs have pretty much well surpassed a critical point uh, I think a kind of a starter house per se is getting very close to the million dollar mark and yeah the Canadian dollar isn't worth quite as much as the US dollar but it's close enough, and by the time you figure in all the Canadian taxes and property taxes and all the other fees and so on and so forth, you're probably looking at pretty close to a million dollars American. And as, as, it, as I've said in my other videos, when you're paying a mortgage, you're effectively paying a huge surcharge on top of that. So all of a sudden, your nearly one million dollar home is then going to cost you in real terms of money $1.8 million per se depending on what the mortgage rates are and how long it is you're going to take to pay it off. Not unforeseeable for it to hit that number. Who on earth can afford that? Not many. So, if you want to live here, what choice do you have but to do this? Why are the prices so high? Small part of it is Canadians coming out here to retire. Very, very small part. 
the majority of the problem is foreign money coming into Canada and inflating the housing market kind of artificially. I don't think this would be as big a problem in the United States just because the factor market is much larger. Canada is a, a much smaller population base, thus our housing market is much smaller. A large country like China, they don't have a whole lot of wealthy people per their population. They have such a huge population that if, even if just a tiny, tiny few wealthy people in China decide to buy Canadian property, it's going to flood the average Canadian completely out of the Canadian market. And that's what's going on. Why do I think all of a sudden it's important to point out that this is viable? Because it's not going to change. I really don't see it changing. There's just too much money in it. And where there's money, that's kind of where the politicians follow. Hate to say it, doesn't matter the, the political party. It's not going to get fixed, is my, my forecast. It's not. Until we go to pitchforks and torches, they are not going to change it. We're going to basically need some kind of citizen's revolt. And it's not, that's not going to happen. People are just going to look for alternative ways of living and just completely dismiss the housing market at a certain point. Here we go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrible to say that. And you know, if you're a U.S. viewer and something like that potentially happens, look north and go, don't do what they did. And that's, that's what's happening in Canada. Now, there's, there's cities in Canada where it's still affordable to live, but there's usually a good reason for that. It's usually somewhere where there isn't a lot of work or it's just... The climate makes it really undesirable, and all of a sudden you have affordable housing. Well, affordable compared to the wages here. <laughs> the wages there may not be so good, so it's still kind of... It, basically, the, old, the whole Canadian housing market is completely off-kilter, as far as I'm concerned. So, that's why you see Canadians on YouTube talking about this. Why isn't the media here talking about it? I have no idea. Uh, you know why? You know I look at a lot of what the media doesn't want to. They just don't talk about it. It's, it. You know, both Canada and the U.S. are both really kind of different shades of the same color in this. Is that our, our media sources are just so polarized and are, are pushing some kind of an agenda that they're not an objective source for information. They're just completely useless in that regard and so what choice do you have but to go to average Joe generated information which is what I do uh, and I say I am I haven't had cable in a quarter century I have no interest to get it I really am not interested in in viewing anything that media is putting out now because it's just it's not worth anything it's just junk it's garbage. It's not totally not worth my while, and that's why I embrace YouTube or any anything else that comes along that allows us to put something out there. I think is important, and I want to promote it. So that's why I'm on YouTube, and I think that's why a lot of other Canadians are doing this too. Anyway, from Vancouver Island, have yourself a great day.